Hi everyone, Tinker Cat here, and in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to make a budget DIY escape room along with inspiration and tips and tricks to help you in your creation of your escape room. If you guys do enjoy the video, please consider subscribing or drop a like, it helps me out. Alright, now into the video. I'm going to list out the materials I used throughout the most recent escape room I created. First off, I used the Lego Cats and Dog for my real two cats and dog. I have one of them right here. And I also use this Lego swimming pool for my actual pool. We're also going to use this white sheet to cover the string lights so it's not easy to trace the string part on the lights. More on that later. For almost every escape room, if not all of them, require some sort of lock. So I use number letter combinations and color coded number locks to key locks and combination locks. Thankfully, I was able to find this all around my house. I also use just random boxes to store items with blocks. And yes, I used a Huggies box. Moving to the other side, I also have some other office supplies like paper and tape for clues and hints later on. I also used an empty Martinelli bottle as a nice prop and added decoration used for invisible ink, which is created using lemon juice and fire, which I will explain later, using of course the lighter and the lemon. I also have these water balloons laying around, so I use them as colors for the color coordinating number lock. There's also this notebook that I left for the people actually playing since it required some things to be written down. And then I used these cards from a card game called Pit where I used three different commodities, sugar, oats, and coffee used to match up with the actual commodities in my kitchen. Now I also used all these different types of ribbon and rubber bands as a way to tie the locks to a cabinet. In this specific escape room, I decided to get a little high tech and challenge myself since I got this smart outlet which allows me to wirelessly connect the plug outlet to my phone which can turn on and off the lights with the tap of a button. To begin my process in making an escape room, I made a notebook list of ideas and designs and started throwing them together to see how they fit. So in the first section, I had all the items I needed to lay out the night before and then the lock combos on the sticky note. On the next page is where I plan out the escape room. It took many times and tries until I thought it was right, as you can see by the crossouts and bolded letters. It helped me organize my thoughts the best. Flipping the page, it leads to more thoughts on how I want the escape room to play out. You can see in the page how some of the writing has brackets around it. This means it's a very important part in the puzzle. And finally, I have this paper which was taken from the time people completed my escape room and had to use the notebook to write down their own notes, as you can see. So let's get into how to make invisible ink using lemons, lighters, paper, and a Martinelli bottle. I cut this piece of paper out so that it fits nicely around the bottle. Then you're going to cut the lemon in half carefully using a knife. Then after, I'm going to take a q-tip or it can be a small paintbrush or the end of a stick and get it nice and wet from the lemon juice. Then I'm going to take it and write my secret code on the paper I cut out dipping the q-tip in the lemon periodically. Going over it a second time is helpful. Here, the secret message is linen closet, which will lead the person to my linen closet. Once your paper is dry, tape it to your decorative item. For me, it was a Martinelli bottle. By holding the candle near your paper for long enough, the lemon juice paper will burn before the actual paper revealing your secret message. Just make sure the candle doesn't stay in one spot of the paper for too long or it'll catch on fire. When doing this for the first time, try to be near a sink or body of water just in case the paper does catch on fire. Now I'm placing the Lego animals into this box sealed closed by a lock for which we'll get the key from the linen closet. Once the person opens the brown box, it will lead to my real pets where they have a commodity card stuck on them somewhere. Some of them were harder than others. The commodities will lead to the actual commodities, coffee, sugar, and oats, which will each have a number on them pertaining to a combination lock. This would then lead to this cabinet, where inside my Lego pool is stored inside and will lead to my actual pool outside. Using the rubber band, I can tie the lock to the cabinet. I put a couple of heavy rocks as weights inside the bag of water balloons so that would sink to the step in the jacuzzi. I wrote horseshoe bend on this piece of paper so that I could put it inside the color combo lock which I made by taping some colors onto the dial. You would have to count out all the balloons to open up the lock. Once you find horseshoe bend of all the pictures we have, you'll find a key behind it which leads to opening the yellow Huggies box. 
Before we get with the puzzle, we have to do a little bit more setup. For every escape room, I try to make a showstopper, which is why this part is a little more complicated. So I start with these string lights with two strands. One that tried to have a shape of the numbers 1, 2, and 7, as you can kind of see that I'm making right now, and the other to fill the white space. Now it looks super messy, but once you cover it with a white sheet, you can't tell and you can't trace the string lights to figure out the answer. I placed the board near an outlet with two plugs, one for the regular string lights and one for the smart plug and string lights. Using a power extension could work too, you'll get a better look in the dark. So this side now you can see the plugs, and you can see the sheet obscuring the string lights well, where you can only see the light. To connect the smart plug, I used an app called Jinvu Smart which can turn on and off the outlet using my phone, which can reveal secret passcode using some Bluetooth magic. If I click on the switch, it will present a button which says turn off lights to see message. It will then reveal 127. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because it will go way off topic way too much. And this is the last part, rigging a lock on the door so that they would have to find the passcode to escape. Again, I use rubber bands and the number letter lock to escape. So now I will show you a friend going through the room posing like they're the escapee. So I had all the items needed laid out on the table in front of him. He's going through all the items seeing what he could possibly start with until eventually he comes to the Martinelli bottle. He told me he's going to burn the label and see if anything is going to show. And with movie magic, the label now shows the words linen closet. And that tells him to go to my linen closet and get the key. So now he can open the small brown box with the two Lego cats and dog. This will lead to my real cats and dog. As he wrestles my dog for the card, you can now find the actual commodities that the card has on it. So he got coffee, oats, and sugar. And then he takes them back to the table to figure out what to do with them. He then learns it forms a three combo code which can be found using the combo lock at the cabinet. He finds a Lego swimming pool where X marks the spot. He knew this would lead to the hot tub next. At the hot tub, he finds the water balloons in the water on the step. He'll take those back to the desk too. And then he'll begin counting all the balloons and putting them into their respective colored groups. The number of each colored balloon then corresponds back to the lockbox, where inside he'll find a strip of paper saying Horseshoe Bend. This will then lead him to a grid of pictures on the wall where one of them is Horseshoe Bend. Behind the picture is a key which will lead him to unlock the final box. When he opens the Huggies box, he'll find a phone which is encrypted with binary he has to unlock. Thankfully for him, he knows binary, allowing him to easily decode the ones and zeros using the notebook. Once he's in the phone, he is greeted with a big button that he presses revealing the final code to get out of the front door. Thank you guys so much for watching and hope you guys liked what you saw. If you're looking for more annual content like this, please subscribe and maybe I'll get on to uploading more. Haha. <laughs> anyway, check out another video, cause why not?